You hit me. It's honey. It's what? not honey anymore, okay. bitch. You need therapy. And you know what? You'd be better off in the hood because the hood people, they know how to act. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and back to another crazy reaction video. So let's just get right into this because I, I can't even... You saw the intro. That was all real. I saw this video the other day and I could not believe my eyes when I was watching it. And I was like, I have to share this with my subscribers. I have to share this with you guys if you haven't seen it yet because it's absolute insanity. Insanity. So you have a woman who accidentally bumped into a trans identifying man and that man decided to lash out at the woman for daring to bump into him and not move out the way. And somehow a very innocent <laughs> interaction turned into a crazy narcissist who wanted to be affirmed and wasn't being affirmed. So he threw a temper tantrum on the streets. You guys sit back, relax, grab some popcorn, grab some Coca-Cola, and let's enjoy this insanity together and talk about it. Here we go. Ran into me because you're a transphobe. And you're having a bad I life. I have trans friends. So why did you walk into me like that? You're looking for problems and you're purposely Am antagonizing I? me. Am I? So I'm going to give you a minute and then I'm going to call the cops. Because you're... You was going in that direction, and now you're following me to this location, you, and I'm gonna stand here for me. one minute. You antagonize me. I, okay, what's and your you're, name? You're a black woman calling a what's your name? a trans woman, and I just want you to what's think. Your name? I want you to think about that. Okay, I, I. You're a black woman calling a cops. Go ahead. On a trans go, woman. Go continue to walk. And I want you to think about that. We're at 37 and I, seconds. I'm gonna pray for you. I'm going to hang. Because I pray. I'm gonna stop recording at one minute, and I'm gonna call the cops if you're still in my area. I, I haven't offended you, you in any way. You hit me on the sidewalk. With your body. Me. You hit me. It's honey. It's what? not honey anymore, okay. bitch. Ooh, it's ooh, not ooh. honey. <laughs> it's not honey, bitch. We're just gonna patiently w wait for the cops. Yes, we are. What is going this on? Is getting. You're a hypocrite. It's you're getting a liberal a little bit hypocrite. More aggressive. And you're a bitch. A yeah, liberal. I am aggressive. I'm PTSD, bitch. Okay. You I, fucked I, with I the wrong tranny today, bitch. I apologize. I'm sorry. That's what you should be doing. You should be deleting that fucking video. I, I will not. Because I feel. I have I feel, a lawyer. I have two and three okay. lawyers, honey. I will sue your pants off. I'm not going to speak bitch. anymore. Okay? I will sue your pants off. I'm not speaking anymore. Good. Wow. I risk my life every day getting ready in the morning, and you have the, the temerity to hit me with your body. I don't know if you guys noticed, but my hands are shaking because I have anxiety currently because of this individual is not you leaving me You need to alone. go. You need therapy. And uh, you know what? You'd be better off in the hood therapy? the hood people, they know how to act. The okay. hood people? They know how we treat each other. You went, you went to Bard. You have a master's, you have an MBA. I am currently starting to shake white more because this individual would not thing. leave me alone. Fuck you! I have PTSD from being assaulted by people like you. And by that I mean insecure... Mental assholes. illness. I'm not a racist, in case that's where you're gonna... You know, oh, racist trans woman attacks me on sidebar. You assaulted me on the sidewalk and then you called the I cops think I on see me. lights coming down. Good. What a nut job. I looked better than you and you couldn't handle it. You have internalized misogyny, internalized femphobia, internalized homophobia. You're an angry young lady. You guys, I can't even like a young woman and I I, I really I'm speechless. Could be friends. But that does not give you the right to hit me on the sidewalk. Just what she did. You assaulted me, ma'am. Yeah, please. Internalized misogyny. Wow. I'm really looking forward to seeing this performance. Master class of big What a nut job. So the video cuts there. So unfortunately we don't get to see the actual interaction with the woman and the cops because she had to shut her phone off, I guess, when the cops got there. Probably to show them the footage of this maniac screaming at her and threatening her, a grown ass man. Uh, wow, 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 wow. I mean, there's just so much to unpack so much to unpack within that three minute video. <laughs> the narcissism is just out of this world. The self-centered mentality of I'm walking down the street and you had the nerve to bump into me, a trans woman. 
sir, I'm going to need you to step aside. Insanity. And I love the fact that she was calm the entire video. She wasn't screaming. She wasn't cursing at him. She wasn't getting in his face. She kept a good distance. She was very respectful. The maniac was the man that was screaming on the street, ripping off his wig <laughs> and threatening to fight her. Not only did we see a person having a mental breakdown, but we also saw a person throwing out so many problematic things, right? Like your hood people are better than you. Oh, but I'm not racist. I'm not racist. <laughs> And that video went viral and I'm pretty sure he's getting dragged as he should be. The absolute insanity. And to say I have PTSD, <laughs> you caused my PTSD. Like, and here's the funny thing about liberals, right? There is a hierarchy of victim Olympics. And according to my chart, <laughs> a black woman trumps a white trans identifying man. So him yelling and screaming at her, calling her the B word, threatening to fight her, talking about go back to the hood. Yeah, buddy, you've crossed every single line that you're not supposed to cross <laughs> when it comes to progressives. So you're gonna be in trouble. You're gonna be in trouble, dude. You know, I'm so sick and tired of us normalizing mental illness and normalizing people having manic breakdowns because their entire lives they were affirmed and the moment they don't get affirmed they do this this isn't a trans person having a ptsd attack this is a grown man having a mental breakdown who did not take his meds and for his entire life was told that the way that he is behaving is absolutely okay i wish i could say this was just a skit this isn't real it's all in our imagination but it's happening and the nerve the nerve of this man to to accuse her of having misogyny Mas how, how does that work you're a man pretending to be a woman and the real woman is actually arguing with you because of your behavior and because she is speaking up against you and speaking and defending herself, that's misogyny. Yeah, I'm gonna need you to uh, take your meds because I don't know what the hell that even means. I, I don't know what that means. You know, real misogyny is letting men like you compete in women's sports. Real misogyny is letting men like you change in a woman's locker room. Real misogyny is letting men like you into women's bathrooms. Now that's misogyny. Because if a woman speaks up about it, she's a transphobe. She gets yelled at and attacked, like what you're doing to her. So you actually are displaying the very misogyny that you're accusing her of having against you. Oh, she's also a transphobe, of course, a transphobe, of course. Because that just goes without saying. That just gets grouped in automatically. Disagreeing with the trans person, transphobe. I don't care what the situation is. I don't care what the argument is. I don't care what is happening. If you're arguing with the trans person, and you're upsetting them, you are a transphobe. Those are the rules. I really hope to God that the cops arrested him for being a maniac, for ripping off his wig. And by the way, what was the point of ripping off your wig? You're supposed to be a woman, right? Wouldn't you want your long, luxurious hair? Why would you rip off the wig showing your balding head and the receding hairline? Please tell me. You know, it's always funny how these women always act like men when they deal with controversies, right? They have no problem asserting themselves like a man would in the middle of a street. That was a dude upset. That was not a woman. Because women, most women, don't act like that. That was a man ready to fight, ready to go off, using his male privilege over that real woman in that situation, expecting people to come to his defense. These people need help. And this also is exactly why I will never vote blue again because Kamala Harris and the Democrats support this type of behavior, okay? They support and defend that man believing that he's a she and therefore can talk to real women the way that he did. It all correlates. Pay attention, people. You know, I bet he would never talk to a man like that in the street. He's a punk. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of this crazy, insane video. What would you do if you were in her shoes and a trans identifying man attacked you in the same way? Let me know what you would do in that same situation. If you enjoy my content, please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit my notification bell so you know when I post a brand new video. And if you wanna watch more social and political commentary videos, click on the links over here to watch more of yours truly. Until next time, peace.